KMI Learning, learning that builds business. Build great content. This is a collection of short segments from courses that KMI has created for our clients. It is intended to provide you with examples of our work and how we have specifically addressed some of the most challenging training concerns our clients have given us. These courses have saved money, saved lives, improved productivity and quality, and made new employees more productive in a much shorter time. We're taught to place our feet shoulder distance apart while keeping our back straight and bending with our knees to lift the load. This is the traditional squat lift. We call this the power squat. The power squat creates some fairly serious problems for the person doing the lifting. The deep squat in particular causes problems. The power lift technique developed by Dr. Mike Schaefer of Risk Management Consultants is a completely new way to lift, push, pull, bend, and reach, and will make you stronger and make your work easier. The most important element of power lift is the wide stance, wider than shoulder width. So as you approach a load, remember this. With your last step, take a wide stance. This stance allows us to raise or lower the load with our legs rather than our backs. In this course, we'll discuss your responsibilities as a competent person as they relate to fall protection equipment. It's very important for our people who work on order pickers, reach trucks, or who otherwise work at heights to understand how to use their fall protection equipment correctly for their own safety. You must follow through with your responsibilities, as someone's life may depend on it. Fitting is the core of this program. When fitting an employee, there are three main things to look at. The chest strap location, chest strap tightness, and leg strap tightness. It is very important to take the right precautions when dealing with a fall protection incident. If you get in a situation where someone has fallen and has hung for two minutes or longer, automatically call 911. When someone hangs that long, it stops the blood flow in the arteries in the legs. A person who hangs for a few minutes before they are rescued may appear to be fine and may want to return to work. Don't allow it. There are reports of people who have fallen and hung for even a few minutes come down, appeared fine, and then 45 minutes later, experienced seizures. Our goal and obligation is to provide all people who enter the distribution center with a safe and healthy environment. The purpose of this course is to teach Medline Associates how to safely and efficiently change the rechargeable batteries using a manual, walkie-mounted battery changer. The first thing you need to understand are the potential hazards you can face when changing batteries. When they are being serviced, they can emit hydrogen gas, a highly combustible gas that can cause a fire or an explosion. Proper battery changing procedures. In this example, the associate is changing the battery in his pacer truck. First, disconnect the battery cables from the... All work at heights must take into account weather conditions that could place personnel in danger. Work at heights must be properly planned and supervised. Using your mouse, click on the worker to show the effects of a fall Let's look at the most hazardous aspect, falling. Hazardous incidents during excavation work can involve many different types of activities and equipment. Electrical cables, water and sewage lines. These may lead to flooding in an excavation, gas pipes, walls. They may collapse. Tools materials or equipment, for each image you will choose either yes if they are undertaking excavation activities or no if they are not.
A deadly outbreak of listeriosis. 23 people dead. Dozens of people ill. Almost $50 million U.S. for the recalls and the class action lawsuits. The outbreak was traced back to a meat processing plant in Canada, to two process lines and two meat slicing machines that were not cleaned properly. Some of these hazards call for partly or totally dismantling equipment to clean and disinfect it. Did you know that the leading cause of death in Africa is road traffic accidents? Distracted driving happens any time you take your eyes off the road, your hands off the wheel, and your mind off your primary task of driving safely. Many of us drive professionally, and many more of us drive frequently for work-related tasks. We drive around our sites. We drive in deserts, in the tropics, and in the icy north. We always wear seat belts, drivers and passengers alike. Your eyes need to be constantly moving as you drive. When you think you see a hazard, click it with your mouse. For those of you who came to this video on YouTube, please visit us at kmilearning.com. Thanks for your time.